Last night's Donald Trump victory speech was brought to you by Trump Steaks. Trump water, which he'd also turned into Trump wine. There's the water company. I mean, we sell water and we have Trump steaks. You see the wine. So I want to thank the people of Michigan. I want to thank the people of Mississippi. And it is such a great honor. And uh, it's also really wonderful to have you at Trump National Golf Club. It was an infomercial, a collision between Brand Trump and the Republican presidential race. But for Americans watching at home, it's no wild departure for the Donald Trump they've grown to know over the past four decades. They know he's the guy who sells steaks. Trump steaks are by far the best tasting, most flavorful beef you've ever had. And now he's selling himself as the tell it like it is celebrity who can make America great again and who thinks you've been neglected. He is an astonishingly gifted entertainer, and that's not a skill that all politicians have. He understands what makes for good ratings, and often that is unpredictable. It's controversial. As the king of New York, Trump may well be today's leading proponent of the get it and flaunt it style. Back in the 80s, when hair was big and business was booming, you couldn't turn on your TV in New York without noticing the growing celebrity of Donald Trump. Americans came to see in him a certain kind of consumption and stature, classy, but brash. I think I have an ego, but I think everybody that's successful has to have an ego. Why do you put the name Trump on just about everything you own? Because the name Trump has really created a premium on value. He was the kind of guy who could launch an airline, buy a yacht or a landmark hotel, host a Russian leader, and pop up with a cameo in Home Alone 2. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. But he's been making guest appearances in pop culture for years. He is on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Ron said his client had a rich uncle, but uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> I like keeping a low profile. <laughs> he did stand for something to people, a sort of shorthand for a particular kind of New York wealth and brash. Uh, in Sex and the City, in the first episode, when Carrie Bradshaw meets Mr. Big, the man who will become the love of her life, she sees him across a crowded room, and her friend Samantha says, You see that guy? He's the next Donald Trump, except he's younger and much better looking. Brand Trump carried a sparkly patina of success, even with his uneven private life and multiple bankruptcies. Real estate developer Donald Trump opened his new casino, the Taj Mahal, and it is the world's largest casino. Within a year of its opening, there was a $3 billion debt. Trump was forced to sell half his stake as well as his airline and yacht. But it didn't dent his confidence. The institutions that finance what I have, they happen to be in love with Donald Trump. But they're not in love with me because I'm a nice guy or anything. They're in love with me because everything I've done has been a tremendous winner. You're fired. And only winners get to choose losers. The role that cemented Donald Trump in popular culture began when NBC launched the first version of The Apprentice and chose the brash New Yorker to host. What the hell's missing with you? It's getting vicious. All new Apprentice, NBC Thursday. A young woman was raped and almost beaten to death in Central Park. But American followers of brand Trump weren't limited to specials on stakes or memorable reality TV moments. In the late 80s, Donald Trump sounded off as spokesman to the mob who scapegoated five young black men for the vicious rape of a white woman in Central Park. You better believe that I hate the people that took this girl and raped her brutally. You better believe it. The five were jailed, but 12 years later, when someone else confessed to the crime, the case against them was thrown out. Was born in Kenya. Then and there was, was the Bertha controversy. It's one of the greatest scams in the history of politics and in the history period. When again, Trump led the mob who convinced themselves that President Barack Hussein Obama was born somewhere very foreign like Kenya, against all the evidence that he was in fact born in Hawaii. I have people that actually have been studying it and they cannot believe what they're finding. Joining us by phone, we have... Now he's running for president, Donald Trump's celebrity status means he can ring up a national television network and they'll put him straight on air. Who needs a campaign budget when advertising's free? That the Republicans are gaining millions and millions of people because of me. He has just enormous name recognition. Even someone who watches the political news very casually might say, oh, that's Donald Trump. Can I have a pledge? A swearing. And the fact you never quite Raise know what he's right going hand. to say has led one television network boss to declare publicly that even if swear. Trump isn't good for America, he's good for ratings. President Trump. A rebranding of the presidency? 
Just another unbeatable offer from Donald Trump that America can't afford to miss.